Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Kevin Lee to defeat Al Iaquinta. And I'm here to talk about Modeskis Bukowskis versus Vitor Petrino. Vitor Petrino is 26 years old, 9-0 as a pro, and he's given up 1 inch of height and 1 inch of reach to 29-year-old Bukowskis, who is 15-5. and Petrino, he's looked really good in the UFC. I believe I said after his last fight against Marcin Procnio that I am done calling this guy a striker. But I'm not done. I'm still going to call him a striker. But he's looked really good in the UFC going the grappling route, taking down Marcin Procnio and tapping him out in round three, which is very impressive to get the third round sub. Uh, way more impressive than a first round sub, in my opinion. And also... His win against Anton Turkali. While that didn't make him look like the best fighter in the world, and uh, maybe even showed some vulnerabilities, uh, he still won a grappling battle. And that was back and forth against a guy, Turkali, who is uh, who I'm much more comfortable calling a grappler, certainly after his last fight. But Vitor Petrino showed he can do everything. He can fight long. Cardio isn't an issue for him. I really trust his cardio. I trust everything about him. I trust his power. And uh, I think, uh, again, he's a guy that is, has started to mix things up at the UFC level. And he's starting to mix up his results as well, getting his first submission. So I think the world of him so far is a prospect. Modeskis Bukowskis. He is not a prospect anymore. He's already got 15, uh, well, he's got 20 fights, five of them being losses. And we've seen him in the UFC enough where we know he's got some vulnerabilities, but he's also a guy that can upset a lot of good fighters because he's a good fighter himself. He's got 15 wins, nine via TKO, two via submission, and four via decision. And his five losses come three via TKO, one via submission, one via decision. He was knocked out twice. By Jimmy Crude and John Redman. Pretty much the same exact knockout. Caught coming in and cracked. And it uh, speaks to a weakness in the chin. There's something going on there. You know, uh, the guy John Redman's not a great fighter. He's a, you know, bruiser journeyman in England. Uh, cracked hard enough to get him out of there. But uh, still, not the prettiest loss. And Jimmy Crude, even though that's a much prettier loss... Again, it was the same exact fucking sequence. Him coming in, getting caught cold. You know, showing some bad defense, and uh, he went down. His other TKO loss comes to Khalil Roundtree, where he had his knee shattered. Or maybe that was just that scene in Bloodsport. But either way, he fucked up his knee, uh, Khalil Roundtree, uh, stabbing it with the oblique kick. And that's definitely one of the more brutal finishes. Uh, his submission loss, he lost, uh, uh, he was leg locked in 18 seconds in uh, 2016 to a good Moldovan grappler. So there's that. Uh, and uh, while Vito Petrino is definitely uh, an underrated grappler, I'd say, or, you know, getting not to be, actually, he's getting close not to be, but still, he's a guy that's not thought of as a grappler. He's definitely not going to be leg locking him in 16 seconds or 18 seconds or whatever and the decision lost was to Mikhail Oleksaychuk I'm trying to say Mikhail instead of Mishal which I've said for years but Oleksaychuk uh, you know definitely out hustled him in the end but I still thought he lost that fight anyway uh, Bukowskis he's a guy that's definitely capable of upsetting uh, fighters that uh you know, uh, have vulnerabilities on the feet, specifically with cardio and uh, striking. But I don't know if Vitor Petrino has that. I trust Vitor Petrino's cardio, and I trust his physicality to give him plenty of chances in the fight that Bukowskis wants to put Bukowskis away. Bukowskis moves well, and he moves, he strikes well while moving well, which I think is an advantage of his uh, in this fight. And, you know, I think he's... Um, I think he's got a great great work rate as well. You know, picked up some two finishes or two wins, I believe, in uh in between his UFC stints. One of them being in round four over Chuck Campbell, I believe. But uh, Bukowskis, he's a guy that uh, is not so imposing himself on the feet. 
where you know he will allow his opponent to crowd him more without the fear of any repercussions. And I think Vitor Petrino will chase him, and just being the younger, more energetic, exuberant fighter, he's not going to fall into the traps that Tyson Pedro fell into. And I'm expecting him to win this fight. I think there's a good chance he clips Bukowskis and we see a return of that physicality that Petrino showed, knocking out Hodafo Bellato on the Contender Series, who just a few weeks ago uh, uh, got his uh, big uh, victory in the Contender Series to get into the UFC. And actually, Vitor Petrino beat him twice by TKO. He also beat him earlier in his career, one of his first fights. So... Yeah, he's a dangerous guy, and I think we're going to see a, a return of that. And of course, if we don't, I still trust him to get the victory using other means. Because Bukowskis, even though he's a tough guy to wrangle, he's uh, if you do wrangle him, he's not a grappler. So I expect Vitor Petrino to find success really anywhere. I think if Bukowskis wins, it's by outpointing him to a decision. And I've hedged on my Petrino bets with uh, Bukowskis winning plus 375, winning a decision which I expect would look much like the Tyson-Pedro fight. But that is not my pick. My pick is Vitor Petrino, and my bet was Vitor Petrino. I bet on Vitor Petrino really is money line, because I think uh, I can't trust any method of victory. But of course, I threw a sprinkle or two on knockout at plus 225, because I do think uh, that's his primary path to victory, despite how uh, their recent fights have gone. By the way, this is my new kitten, Joffrey. Everybody say hi to Joffrey. God, say hi, Joffrey. She's shitting on my neck right now. All right, that about wraps it up for me. Vitor Petrino, I'm trusting the physicality, the cardio, and I'm trusting the, uh, you know, the skill set as well. I think he's uh, dangerous on the feet, very good on the feet, and also deceptively good on the ground and showing a willingness to take the fight there. So Vitor Petrino is the pick in the bet, and I've hedged with Bukowski's by decision. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and hand me a paper towel for all this shit on the back of my fucking neck.